Make sure to stand till the end. It could be one sensor that's bad that's causing that message. If not, we'll explain how to easily fix it as well. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Mercedes. It could be any Mercedes guys. If you get a me message on the dash that says check coolant level, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that, what can cause it. And if you add it coolant guys and you still get that message, we'll explain what could be easily causing that. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We're constantly getting new cars, we're constantly working on something. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for your car, Mercedes, any model guys, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools, supplies, from and you can guys save a fortune so we have specifically that c-class guys right here but you work on multiple mercedes guys and uh, first okay let, let, let us show you that message then we'll open the hood and show you there what's happening but uh, if i go ahead and turn the ignition switch on you can easily okay see that we'll get a message let me turn the ignition switch on perfect check coolant level guys okay right there check coolant level so what can be okay easily causing that thing now and how to get rid of it so first never check coolant level when the engine is hot guys okay let the engine cool off for a few hours even i will recommend one night and then check it in the morning if you open it hot you can uh, spray with hot coolant it can severely burn you guys this is okay right here the reservoir before we add coolant okay let me show you First, you do it only when it's cold. You have that sensor right here that is detecting the coolant level. And that sensor, okay, when uh, the coolant reaches a certain level, that sensor will get dry, and as a result, you get that message. Yeah, now, uh, we're going to go ahead at coolant, and if the message still stays, we'll explain what can easily cause that now. Coolant that's approved by Mercedes, use original coolant or coolant that is approved. We'll put links in the description of the video below where you can buy original coolant or the European vehicles, which is up to 2014 Mercedes, guys. Okay, right here, pre-2014. Now, we need to see exactly where the coolant level should be. So you can see right here on the inside, if we zoom in, this is the sensor, okay, right there, guys. This is your sensor. You can see how it's uncovered now. That's why it's detecting it. So let's go ahead, okay? We're going to start adding uh, coolant now. Make sure that uh, you don't leak any out. Coolant is extremely poisonous for pets, humans, kids. Okay, I personally know about a person that died from coolant poisoning, drinking it. So uh, that's no joke, guys, okay? so. We're going to go ahead, add it, we're going to see the level here. Okay, you need to check your uh, specific manual for your year and model. Okay, but uh, we need a little bit more. Okay, because I see where it is, you just need to add a little bit more. So let's keep going. It's still going, 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 going. Okay, right there, that's it. So. Okay, let's see if that message will clear now. If it doesn't, it means that you have a bad sensor and you need to replace the coolant reservoir, the coolant tank, or inspect that the wires are not burned by the exhaust or they're not disconnected if somebody worked on the car or yeah, they were left loose or something like that. Perfect, now let's see if the, okay, uh, check coolant level, light is off now. It used to come immediately the moment I turn the ignition switch on. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the ignition switch on, all the lights are on, completely gone. We only have service A exceeded by 375 days. So that's how you guys fix that message, check coolant level on Mercedes. Now if you want to see anything else specifically, if you want to see any repair videos guys, uh, leave a comment below. We have more than 9,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels. Okay, you can see right there, more than 9,000, close to 10,000 videos, absolutely free. Check them out, they can save you thousands of dollars in future car repairs. Thank you for watching and see you next time.